Welcome to week number three for Claire. My name is Jodie Wunting and this is our live coaching where for the next six weeks our slimmers are hoping to lose a stone or maybe even more. Claire, good evening. Hi, hiya. How are you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. You've had some stress this week. I have. We've had a little bit going on this week. My little boy was poorly. We've had a family funeral and then I got a chest infection and a, oh. a sinus infection kind of all up my face and my face was swollen. I didn't want to go out. So I've just had, it's just been one of them weeks, but things have calmed down a bit now. So back on track as of yesterday, really. Great. That's what we like to hear. And have you been on the scales? I have. I've only lost a pound this week, uh, but I mean, it's better than nothing. <laughs> I think that's amazing for saying that you won you've, what you've gone through. Yeah, I mean, it's. I tried not to kind of go off plan with my food, but I did a little bit, if I'm honest. There was a, a couple of days, I think there was one day in particular where I felt really crappy. Uh, and I just, I pulled something out the freezer and I'd like a, a microwave curry. And then I had yeah, a couple of digestive funny. biscuits, but it was just that one day that I just yeah. I'd had enough that day. I wasn't in the mood that day at all. But other than that, it's not been too bad. And the most important thing is because you've got one, that means you've got your half stone certificate. Yes. Yeah. So not bad. If you look at it like that, you know, seven pound in two weeks and it's not too bad. It's amazing. I think it's great. Right. Let's have a little look through your food diary. Um, so we have the yogurt this morning with banana. Uh, for lunch, you've had bacon, eggs and uh, tomatoes. Yeah. And then this evening, scrambled eggs with some pork loin. That's right. Yeah. Fantastic. So that's great. That's a really good day today. Yeah, sort of back on it a bit now because I didn't I wasn't able to do any exercise or anything at all last week. I didn't even take the kids to school for a few days because I, I felt that poorly so I yeah. got like no exercise and no walking nothing last week at all so I've kind of got back on it today and you've earned an extra 233 calories today through exercise so yeah yeah that's good um the only comment I would just say for your evening meal when you had the eggs and the steak just try and have something fresh as well with that so maybe a tomato okay. or something a little bit uh, fresh carb wise. Okay. Uh, yesterday, porridge, oats and a banana. Um, yesterday, you proved that you were a real stoke E <laughs> by having an oat cake, a, a stoke <laughs> oat cake with just butter on it. Yeah, I just put, I, I, I'm quite happy to eat oat cakes just dry. We've, we've all been known to just like get one out the fridge cold and walk around with it. The kids do it as well. Cold? I just put a little bit of butter on. Yeah, just cold. cold out the fridge. Really? <laughs> oh, I prefer mine hot with cheese, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> no, the kids will quite often, they'll just get one out the fridge and just walk around with it. I just love them, yeah. <laughs> Well, there's certainly there's a lot worse things they could be snacking on. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? That's true. Um, and then in the evening, you had uh, turkey mints with carrot, peas, mushrooms and broccoli. Yeah. And then in the evening, pear, oh, just a snack of a pear and you've tracked your coffee there. Yeah. Uh, Sunday, egg and cheese omelette and an apple with a little bit of toast as well a sunday lunch chicken and veg with a baked potato and then the evening uh, some porridge and a pear yes saturday egg oh cheese and egg omelette again with tomatoes uh for lunch pate and rivita with an apple how did you find that what the pate and the rivita yeah yeah, I like that. Because it's one of the staples of our lo our losers. You know, they just find it's quite flavoursome and it's quite filling as well. Yeah, so. and I absolutely love rye vita because you can kind of put, you could just put a bit of cucumber on them or you could put some ham on or you could, there's like so much you could do 
with them and I quite like I like the taste of rye vita so they're a, a go-to real because a lot of crisp breads and things it just tastes a bit like air where once you've got yeah. the rye vita it's quite filling isn't it so that's good yeah, yeah. and then on the Saturday evening you had bacon with um yellow mahatama rice what was that it's just something that I brought. I've not actually had it before, but it was nice. Sounds very exotic. Um, <laughs> and yellow rice, really. Nothing fancy. Broccoli and courgettes as well. Uh, Friday was Fra toast. I don't know if it was Thursday or Friday was my bad day, I think. I can't remember which one. Uh, Friday, toast for breakfast. Beetroot and cucumber with rivita for lunch. And then the evening, uh, chicken fillet with vegetables and a banana as a snack. So it definitely wasn't oh, Friday because yeah. that's a good um, day. <laughs> it was definitely one day. Thursday was shreddies with banana, egg, bad, yeah. bacon, onion and courgette. And then the evening, this is where you had the chicken green curry with rice. Yeah. yeah. But I wouldn't say it's particularly bad. You know, what, what I called right really bad is if you have like a massive plate of pasta or, or, or a whole loaf of bread, having yeah, yeah. curry and rice is not not bad at all. So, yeah, I suppose just that it was like a sort of processed frozen one. I've been trying to cook everything that I have, but it was just yeah. one of them days where, you know, it wasn't happening. I was hungry, so I just had something out of the freezer. That's it. And then two digestive biscuits. I did, yeah. That was me, a little guilty pleasure on the day I wasn't very well. <laughs> but I've done worse than that before. I've had to hold pack before, so yeah. two I thought was quite restrained, really. And you've only gone over by 100 calories. And as I've said yeah. to other slimmers before, to be honest, I like to give people about 150 calories over and under. As long as you're hitting around your target, it's fine. We're looking yeah. for being good, not being perfect. Uh, and then last Wednesday, cheese on toast, was it for breakfast? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for lunch, uh, a carvery and a slim nine tonic and an orange juice. That's right. Great. Oh, yeah. So we talked last week, didn't we, about carvery? We did. We did. So I'm glad you went the next day and had one I did yeah I just um I remembered what you said I didn't have the oxy pudding didn't have the stuffing or anything I just had the meat the veg didn't have potatoes but I did put a little bit of gravy on because I find it really dry without that little bit of gravy yeah. so no, have gravy, I have the gravy but not the other stuff so now we've got a farmhouse in near us have you been have you got one of them near you uh I, I think we've just got the Toby here Toby Carvery it's called Cherry Tree. Have you heard Jill oh, or anyone talk about Cherry Tree? Yeah, I've heard Jill mention, yeah, yeah. It's the really popular one, and they have basically like 15 types of vegetables. So you get more variety. However, I have to say the quality at Toby Carvery is so much better. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, when you hear them talk about Cherry Tree, your friends over this way, just ignore them. Toby's the best, <laughs> okay? especially when you get a staff discount as well Claire stick with Toby. yeah it's, it's brilliant really and the kids always pay for me you see because they they pay on their card to get their <laughs> discount so I don't ever pay it's brilliant I went to Toby Carvery last week the only thing that I'm really surprised at have you seen how they've got the um mac and cheese yeah so yeah you have to say no to that that is uh and yeah they had dumplings as well so i have to try and ignore the dumplings oh dum old dumplings really yeah. oh they yeah, don't have that at good. hours i was like oh they look a bit mad is that a stoke <laughs> thing um i've not actually seen it up there before i suppose it is a little bit yeah but i've not seen it up there before and then it was just when we went the other day well i might have to pop over to a stoke toby yeah. carvery just to try it out <laughs> <laughs> um right for breakfast on tuesday uh porridge with banana in the evening bacon tomato and eggs uh, and then in the snack section you've got the rivita with mushrooms and cucumber uh, and again there's just two days there where you've had rivita with some sort of vegetable just bear in mind yeah. that you need to have some protein with that so having okay. 
the pate or some cheese on it would be ideal just so you're getting your protein in. Okay. I'm surprised you haven't lost more, you know. I I was a bit, but then I suppose I've done no exercise at all. Like I've not even just walked the kids to school or nothing. I haven't done anything. Yeah. Um, and I've, I've also been on quite high dose of steroids and antibiotics. Uh, so I've just been, you know, a bit rubbish, really, feeling a bit rubbish. But I suppose, you know, one pound's better than none, isn't it? And yeah, and as I said, to lose seven pounds over the first two weeks is fantastic. Um, now, you sent me some questions last week about the uh, weight loss injection. Yeah, I was, I, I sort of looked into it and um, they quite a bit of money. And I'm just wondering, are they worth it? Or is it a good idea, bad idea? Are they not free then? I thought they were free. No, apparently. Well, I, I went to see the doctor about it. Um, and they said some NHSs are offering them free. Yeah, uh, but not Staffordshire, which doesn't surprise me really. Oh. Um, so they said at the moment they only have um, like fat binding tablets that they can give you. But yeah. I've had I've tried them once in the past, and they actually made me really ill. Even whether I was eating the right thing or not, they just didn't really agree with me. So I was a bit reluctant to kind of go down that road again because I think really you should be able to do it by your food. But then I sort of I read about the injections, and I did think if there's something in them that actually lowers hunger, because that's where I struggle long term, is I'm, I'm hungry. Yeah. You know, I get that, and then that's where I'm likely to go off plan. So I just wondered, you know, are they worth it or not? But they are, they're quite priced. They're about sort of about £150 for six weeks worth, I think. So what I would say initially is no, purely because um, it's a little bit, bit like any other fed diet the fact that once you stop taking the injection what are you going to do then yeah um, because what it's actually doing is is an appetite suppressant so it's great to help you lose weight however when you get to your goal weight and you stop taking the injection you know what are you going to do then um, you have to also remember another appetite suppressant is good fats and protein so if you can start to add more of those, which you have been doing anyway, you've probably noticed your appetite has started to lower already. Yeah, definitely at the end of the first week, I noticed that I wasn't sort of thinking about food as much and I was obviously eating enough that it wasn't a problem. I struggled a little bit this last week, but yeah. I think, like I say, with not feeling very well, I think sort of food can be a bit of a comfort, can't it? A bit of a go-to. So I have had to really fight it a little bit this week. Yeah. Uh, but sort of feel like I'm back on track again today. So So I'd definitely say as long as you, you're feeling in control, I wouldn't definitely go for the uh, injections because, as I said, okay. long term, it's a much healthier way to do it. And also they yeah. are quite new um, and they haven't really re released, um, you know, the side effects too much as well. So it's it, I wouldn't uh, recommend it at this stage, especially for yourself. Okay. Um, and then also you mentioned about being the being on the steroids as well this week, which again is known for uh, delaying weight loss and stuff. What I would yeah. say about that is just try and up your water a little bit extra as well. Yeah, well, I was only on them for five days. I've finished them now, so that's fine. Okay, great. Wonderful. Right, this coming week, have you got any challenges coming up? Uh, I think just to perhaps be a bit more active just do a little bit more now I feel better and that's what I was going to do sort of last week was just kind of up the walk in a little bit maybe walk the dog a little bit further that kind of thing yeah. and I obviously didn't get around to doing any of that last week so just to sort of do that really I think okay great and what is your goal for next week uh oh, I don't know I'd like, love another six pound like the first week, but I think that might be pushing it a bit. So maybe if it was just two, I think I'd be I'd be happy with that, to be honest, two or three. Perfect. As I said, you're on goal. You know, we're only on week, uh, the end of week two, and you've lost your half a stone already. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with two by next week. Okay. Great, Claire. Any other questions? No, I think that's all. Thank you. Wonderful. Right. Thank you very much. I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Great. Bye bye.